I kind of got used to a little lip lettuce. It's nice. A I've never fresh. heard that term, <laughs> lip lettuce. It's I, a weird one. Yeah, I, I might have coined that. You. That's crazy. Did you name it? Did you do a whole thing? Mm -mm. No, you didn't name it. <laughs> Right. I didn't, he wasn't I, that emotionally yeah, attached to it like I you are. It's just been me. Soon, maybe. Yeah. Good to have you in the studio. Have you been yeah. doing a lot of these? Um, I, I've been doing some. Yeah. I I guess it's funny because I was just kind of chilling, doing a little vacation, and I also came here and played at my um old high school's graduation a few days ago. So that was super fun. Did they know you were coming? It was like I don't think any of the students knew. It was like you know, the, it was like the band, the band teachers reached out, and then yeah, and it was it was really fun. What did they do? Just like hit you up on Instagram, like hey, remember? Us? No, it was it was through a friend of mine, through a close friend of mine, and then yeah, and then they they reached out, and and um, I was already coming to Philly to hang with with one of my homies, and then yeah, I just pulled up and played a couple songs. I was like kind of nervous to be honest. Yeah. Because like high school is like such a like weird time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The weirdest time. Yeah. The weirdest time. It's like no, the most it's awkward like bring, time of your like life too. Them back to it. I'm like, oh, whoa. That's yeah. weird. How was it like walking the halls and seeing your I didn't even school? go actually back to the school. Sadly, I just went to um, the place where they did the actual commencement. So okay. yeah, I'd love to go back to the, to the halls. That'd be fun. I'm sure we could work something out. Play some, yeah. snare, play some snare drum, you know? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Of course, we're talking about Radnor. So did you enjoy your, your time uh, living in this area? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I definitely had fun. I mean, I lived right up the street from a skate park. Um, that was literally how my family, like we like found the house was like, um, we were on a trip and my parents were looking, you know, um, to move and we were looking at different houses and I was like, can we just please go to a skate park at some point during this trip? <laughs> and on our way home from the skate park, we saw a house that they hadn't seen online that had a for sale sign. And so then we checked it out and I lived right up the street from the skate park. It was sick. That's, That's awesome. amazing. Yeah. It was it's super like having lit. a playground, your own personal skate park in your back backyard. Do you it still skate? It was so sick. A little bit. A little bit. I'm trying to get back into it, but every time I, I every time I try to get back into it, I do it for like like one or two days, and then like stop again for like four months. Mm. <laughs> so bad. It's kind of dangerous. Know, do, do either of you guys skate? No. No, I wish. I was a poser in high school. I had a skateboard. <laughs> I would go to the skate park to like hang out and That's like fit okay. in. I mean, you're. You know. It was a Bart Simpson skateboard that I got for really? like twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I never quite fit in high school. It was not uh, my scene. I feel you. You should show him some of your pictures. Your moody high school. I was school. angsty. He yeah. was very angsty. I want to. I want to see. Did I you was, have long hair? I had like spiky hair. It was like the new metal Whoa, phase that was going go. on, like early two thousands. Yes. Something's coming back, so I might like the screamo and stuff. Yeah, I think f now I'm finally cool. I'm obsessed. My sixteen year old self is finally yes. cool in twenty twenty two. Yes. Nothing for me now, but we, we've been waiting. We've, we've been, been waiting. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's here it is. Glow up. I did this pick stitch of me throughout the years from like elementary school, like this sweet, honest <laughs> boy, and then what high school did to me. Here is the photo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he gets you're sadder smiling. and sadder as yeah. he gets it's older. Like, who hurts you, bro? <laughs> By the end, you're just like, I'm coming I'm for the world. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm so over this. Get me out of here. So much Limp Biscuit and Lincoln Park was played during this That's last it. row. I love that. Yeah. How are you That's in high school? Were you angsty like this, or what was, was your vibe? I don't even know. Like, I was just, I feel like I was just, the way I would describe myself was just kind of awkward and like music obsessed and like, I don't know, kind of just in my own little dream world doing my thing. Mm. Yeah. A know. dreamer. Yeah. I was a visionary. Just, I, was, I was really into MySpace. Like, I was obsessed oh, with MySpace. Wow. Throwback. So I would just go to school and, like, yeah, I know throwback. This is super aging, super <laughs> aging me, but whatever. Um, I would just be at school, like, thinking about, like, the people I was going to friend request. Like, because, like, I was making music <laughs> at the time. So I was, like, trying to blast my music out. And, like, they had, like, the friend bots. And you could, like, message people. And back then, people would just buy songs on iTunes. Like, even mm -hmm. if they didn't never heard of you before, they would yeah. just be like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll buy your album. Like it was crazy. And I remember just... when you could put your a song on your MySpace. Yes. And that was like yeah. your theme for the week or the month. Yeah. It was so cool mm -hmm. to pick a song. So sick. You're just yeah. over there picking your song, rearranging your top eight. Yeah, exactly. Remember that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sheesh. Things... Making banners. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Things have definitely evolved since then, obviously, but still kind of the same. Like if you think of TikTok yeah. and how people now curate their feeds and their posts to right. go to whatever song is trending right now. Right. That's kind of a great way to get your music out there too. Yeah. Like the modern day way. No, hundred percent. TikTok, I mean, I feel like there's like literally everything and nothing on there at the same time. It's amazing. I know. The it's scroll so is endless for me. Yeah. For real. Do you go in the weeds with like TikTok and social media? <laughs> like like do you enjoy it or you know, do you I have to like set boundaries for yourself? Both. Like I enjoy it, but I also definitely have to set boundaries because like there's especially 
I don't know. I've been a lot better lately because I've just found more balance in my life. But for a while, I was like so like obsessed with it and like would just like overthink it so much and would be like always looking at engagement and like all this stuff that was like really just damaging to me, you know, and I was just doing it to myself. So I had to stop that. But yeah, <laughs> we had that same conversation just earlier. We did, yeah. yeah, because it's like you just get so sucked in and even like something like Instagram, you're looking at people's, you know, highlights of their lives and you're right. comparing yourself. You're like, oh, this person has a new job or they're engaged or like they're this successful. And then you start to feel bad about your own life. And Bennett was saying how he's been stepping away from social media and it's been just a great like mental health. It's kind of good. Yeah. Yeah. It was like life in the 90s. I'm like, yeah. oh, this is kind of freeing. And, like, you start comp uh, competing with yourself, too. Like, you look at That's previous true. posts that you might have made. Like, oh, that post did really well, but this one right. didn't really. Or I even know. songs. Like, this song streamed X amount, but this one did it's like it's, it's just messed so up. strange and like certain songs will like the snippet will perform well on social media but then you know not it's like you just you just don't know yeah. about anything so my like thing is i'm just like at this point i'm just gonna do what feels right in the moment and like realize life is short but also long at the same time and just have fun yeah that's a good mindset to have because <laughs> and i just feel keep like it moving yeah yeah you could either think of it like oh my gosh there's so much pressure right or like oh no this is like a fun tool mm. yeah i can use yeah. and um just not let it consume your life yeah how has your mindset been with um, making new music and stuff like that? What, what's what been the process like for you? Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like, what, what's the vibe been like? So the new album is like um, really different process wise because I was like, um, uh, I, I kind of started as a joke. I was like, I want to learn how to freestyle rap and I'm not good at freestyle rapping. But I took that technique into the studio to make the album, you know, because I was working with a couple producers and this was, you know, especially during like, heavy lockdown times, I couldn't really work with that many people. So, and I don't like Zoom sessions or anything like that. So it was like very much like my whole thing with the album was like trying to get back in touch with like the most raw and like honest and in the moment part of myself. So like freestyling mm -hmm. was such a fun way to do that. So basically what I would do is like when I make a song, we would just get a vibe going and I would get on the mic for like five or 10 minutes and just like go and, and like sometimes it would be melodies and lyrics. A lot of the times, you know, like both of them or pieces of both of them. And then we, and then like usually by the end of that five or 10 minutes, I would know whether it was going to turn into a song or like oh, wow. to move on. Like That's interesting. it wouldn't be like fully, fully done or anything, but it would be like, I would have the pieces like, Oh, like here's like the verse and here's the pre and, Hook and yeah, it was it was really fun to do it that way. Wow, that's yeah. really interesting. Is yeah. there any way we can get a, a a copy of like the stuff that's not gonna make the album? Just like <laughs> I would love. Really I mean, cool. yeah, I mean there there is some really dope songs that are you know super different. The album in general is a little different for me. Like some of the songs are you know more classic, loud songs. Some of them are definitely an evolution. Um, but yeah, there's there's some extras that I'd love to either put on a deluxe or drop them in like some other secret way or I don't know. So. Yeah, I'm dying to hear that. <laughs> I know. Your yeah. your last album had collabs on it. And I was like looking at your track list, which is out. This one's it, got no collabs. It, okay, I was wondering. I was like, is he hiding the collabs? And they're no, going to no, reveal no. them I later. Know. It's so funny. I, it's like I almost didn't even realize like how many like collabs I've done in the past because they've always come up so naturally. Like it's always been like I never set out like I got to do this collab and this collab and this collab. I was never like really strategic. It was kind of like naturally like I met Troy or I, you know, I went to um see bts and you know and like started talking and stuff mm -hmm. like that um so yeah but this one has no collabs that's almost like so, so unique now right i know because it's like everyone has collabs <laughs> i now i almost feel like like oh should i have had collabs no What's no you do you yeah yeah this album's definitely me doing me so i'm really excited Talk about this, this evolution, you, you say, mm -hmm. like, uh, yeah. what's this new chapter going to sound like? Can you give us a little taste? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very much just about reconnecting with my inner child and my inner light. I felt like at the beginning of COVID, you know, I think everybody went through, you know, their own journey with it. Um, I felt super anxious and really disconnected from myself, but also sort of disconnected from the outer world because I felt like, I don't know, the pressures of my career and me being an anxious person and being really obsessive with my anxiety. I had gotten myself out on an island where I just wasn't feeling like me and I was kind of like upholding this image that was it was really tough for me and so the album was very much just about like being like okay like I need to get back in touch with like the true Ari mm -hmm. like the kid that I was and that I've always been and like I don't know so it was a lot of reflecting on like childhood and yeah and yeah so I'm really excited. We all kind of had a similar uh, thought process, I feel oh, like yeah. we all kind of felt that way, right? right? Definitely disconnected from society. We all yeah. felt that. Yeah. Um, but also, we all kind of like try to find ourselves throughout yeah. that process. So you yeah. had to go 
kind of like back to your childhood and kind of like go back to the beginning of your story? Is that kind of how you did it? That was definitely part of it. It was a lot of like meditation too. I, it was like the, I feel like the two tactics were like anything I could do to get myself fully in the moment away from my anxiety. And that's like when I know I'm being my more true self. Or like, yeah, like I would literally do like these like inner child meditations where I would visualize myself at a younger age and be like, what lessons do you have to teach me today as the adult? Like it was like that. very, it was this tactic I learned. Um, yeah, that was really cool. Um, yeah. That's really interesting. Yeah. Wow. So this album is like the best reflection of you today. Yeah. That's amazing. That's I would awesome. say so. The most like kind of raw. Yeah. That's incredible. And so obviously this is just the start of this new chapter. The, the tour is also yes. a major component. Are you excited to get back on the road? So excited to tour again, especially because I'll have like two albums worth of new music to tour, you know, pretty much because it's like my last tour. Obviously, everyone's tours got canceled. Um, I was going to say, because yeah. I was so looking forward yeah. to seeing you when I everything know. got postponed. Modern Loneliness, I want to say, because I know this oh, is your last project. loves it. That's like my, my favorite you. song last five years. I'm not even like, thank you. I'm not blowing smoke because you're in the studio. Oh, Nate can vouch. I love that record so much. Thank you so much. It like hit a personal chord with me. Like, yeah. I just think it was brilliant. Um, thank you. That means a lot. Yeah. Oh, that means and a so lot. And so I was thank l- looking forward to seeing that performed live. So I'm like double excited now that this <laughs> tour is actually going to happen. Yeah. August at the Met, which is one of my favorite venues so here in the excited. city. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's August exciting. 19th and the album comes out August 5th. Yeah. So you have like what? So fresh. How, 14 days to, to memorize. To memorize yeah. all, all the new songs. Yeah. But uh, you're throwing in some older ones too. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be a nice like walk through the ages of Lauv. It's going to be great. I like that term, walk through the ages. I oh. like that. That's intense. <laughs> hey, that's going to be his next album. <laughs> yeah, that's the next one. <laughs> yeah. oh Please perform Modern Loneliness at the Philly oh, Day 2. Sneak that one in there. I got you. That's, yeah. a, that's, a, that's a must live. Make that it a whole thing. Bring me on stage. I mean, let's it's your go. concert, oh but <laughs> yeah, let's go. I guess you but can. But it's all about me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do I make this about me? <laughs> <laughs> but you're excited oh, to get back on the road, though? So excited. You have to be. Yeah. Now, oh uh, we were curious about this, yeah. you know, because we each um, have our own struggle with uh, our mental health and anxiety and stuff like that. Yeah. For someone um, going out on the road, um, how is that for your mental health? Is that yeah. is um, that easier or is that challenging for you? I think parts of it are really good, but parts of it are hard. Like the shows are so fun and like so fulfilling. So I feel like that is like huge for me because I'm somebody that can. Well, yeah, I don't even it, it, that's pretty obvious, I guess. But um the definitely the traveling in the downtime is a, is a harder side of it like the moments where i'm not mm-hmm. doing something and like the inconsistency mm-hmm. and also like the the highs and lows just like i feel like chemically for your brain to be like playing these crazy shows and then just waking up like i don't know it's a it can definitely be a little intense but overall touring isn't isn't too hard for me so yeah, yeah. how do you come down from that high of like performing know, in front right? of thousands of people reciting the lyrics and then like you you walk off yeah. stage and then what I mean, I feel like usually at this point, like my last, like I just started to like get cozy, do like a routine and go to bed. Like, I feel like, you know, the, yeah, as much as I can kind of just, is it cause usually, I mean, my show is pretty long. Like I go like sometimes like hour and a half, like, you know, maybe more. And by the end of it, I'm so spent that, yeah. <laughs> and like meditation is a huge thing for me. Like a lot of times before every show, I'll meditate in the green room with my band and stuff. So. Yeah, nice grounding bed. has got to be pretty important yeah. when it comes to like always changing your surroundings. Like, I know you're probably around like the same people, like the inner circle, but right. just like new places, new spaces. I'm like very into energetics and I can like yeah. read the energy. You can really of, feel it. Yeah, you really can. And it can mess with you if it's yeah. not the right vibe. No, 100%. So. I mean, one of the things about meditating before I go on stage is sometimes I literally like fully visualize myself already being on stage and I hear like the, the rumblings of the crowd, you know, like already happening. So I feel like I've like adapted myself before mm. I even get on stage hmm. and that helps a lot because then like I'm out there and I don't feel like it's a shock. Like I'm like, yeah. okay, I'm already kind of in the vibe because sometimes it's just like, you Jarring know, it's, yeah, it's a lot. System. Yeah. And you feel the vibe fun. of uh, being back home. So of course, to get the complete vibe of Philly and Jersey, mm-hmm. I'm sure you went to Wawa, right? Are you going so to Wawa? Many Wawa? I've had so <laughs> many chicken parms from Wawa. Already? Yeah. Amazing. I've had right. like, I've had like four maybe. Wow. Maybe five. I don't know. Wait, That's how, when did you get here? I got here. <laughs> 30 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I had five today. No, oh I don't know. God. A few days ago. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm obsessed with Wawa Chicken Parm. I, I went to the old like diner that I used to, you know, I lived right by. Uh, Manella's, that diner. Um, I haven't gotten a cheesesteak though while I've been here. 
Yeah, I haven't, I haven't done that. I know it's always a classic, but well, that's like the staples when you come back, right? You got to go to high school. You got to go to your high school, right? You got to right. come see Bennett and Raven. <laughs> exactly. You got to right. get your wah wah, <laughs> yeah. and then the, the cheesesteak joint. Which one you? Which one see, you? Yeah. I don't even What's know these fave? days. Like I, I, these days, like I, I feel like I need to ask you guys, like where should I go? Like. I mean, the gyms on Gyms South is, Street's always uh, a good gym, one. Yeah, yeah, gyms is great. Delisandro's. Um, I really like that. Max's. Ishka Bibble's got favorite. a lot of love in the new Adam oh. Sandler movie. Uh, right. That's also on South Street. So, hey, man, options. Yeah. yeah. Options. I'm excited. Is that what we're doing after this? Let's go. Yeah. Are we going to get cheesesteaks? Let's get some cheesesteaks. We're going to fatten you up while you're that here? sounds so good. <laughs> Please, let's go. Hey, congrats on everything, on this upcoming oh, album. We can't wait to hear you. it. This and tour. tour. Woo. August is about to get crazy. It. August, baby. And it's my birthday, too, in August. So. <gasps> oh, my God. Ooh. Wait, August yeah. what? Eighth. Leo. Yep. She's going to read your whole birth chart. I know. Please. I just did that at Tell the bachelor party. What time, <laughs> <laughs> what time are you born? What time are you born? What hospital? I'm the psycho. You need to watch out What's for. your water sign? I have, I'm, tr- I'm trying to pick things up. He I'm has not sure. no Can idea, you listen but... to a time and actually know someone's chart? Um, n- no, I have okay, to like okay, okay. pull like, up their up. chart, but okay, I know okay. how she'll to figure read it chart. out. Right, right, right. Give, oh, her, yeah. give her 20 minutes, she'll have Let's you all go. figured oh, out. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Amazing. Let's <laughs> go. I'll text you a whole rundown. Yeah, she'll invoice you, you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm about it. Let's go. Hey, Lau, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Good seeing you. Good seeing you.